Happy New Year! Blooming heck, this year's gone quickly. But now we've had the shortest day, spring is on the way, and it cannot come a moment too soon for me. <laughs> we've been snowed in three times already this year, and that's three times too many. So now, bring on the mud. For us, the energy of 2010 felt as if we were challenged and yet survived, although nothing life-threatening as such happened. It was a year where lots of situations or things needed to be put right, mended or adjusted, put back on track sort of thing, but for the better, almost like fine-tuning things. The feeling of survival seemed to come from a growth in confidence and feeling so much healthier and altogether stronger, more resilient, capable and determined. The more we've been challenged, the more we've found that inner resilience to cope with everything. Although cope is not perhaps the best word, for we've found a new confidence, a deeper comprehension and a playfulness that's expanded us beyond the many petty worries. Funny how the little worries hold you back from becoming more of who you really are and there's always more to discover. This past year has seen me cross a threshold, my threshold of course, but I know many of you too have seen the walls fall and new vistas appear and beckon. And as one door closes, another one is always there waiting to be opened. I believe 2011 is the year in which we need to drop our fears. The whole world has gone fear mad, like it's the latest fad or designer fashion or something. And when we get to the point where we fear our own shadows, it really is time to take stock of ourselves, turn around and face our fears head on and asking yourself, what is it exactly I'm afraid of? We've allowed ourselves to become no more than wage slaves, always beholding to someone else, bound by the chains of debt. We believe other people's opinions are worth far more than our own, when we should be honouring our own insight and trusting ourselves implicitly. We are constantly told that others know better than we do. But why should that be? Remember, you are a unique expression of the one energy, the source energy, the divine energy, the call it whatever feels perfect for you energy. So you are already magnificent, all knowing and timeless. You are a spiritual being, here to have the physical experience of whatever it is you choose to create. And when you own that thought, you control it too. We are all unique expressions of that same one energy. Nobody can pull our strings or make us dance a dance we do not wish to dance. Of course, Reiki energy is a unique expression of the one energy too. And because it is a way to express that one energy, it is also a way you can express yourself. For you and your Reiki energy, are one and the same thing. In this year called 2011, let's all come together and pool our expressions of the One Energy. Let's become that river of life now. Let all the individual streams and droplets that we are tumble like a mighty waterfall. Let's come together so we know each other and know we do not have to be afraid of our neighbours or anyone else. Together we stand, divided and living in terror of each other, we fall. We fall prey to our worst enemy, that of fear. Look, you are the absolute sovereign of this spirit that you express. And we at Chikara Reikido work tirelessly to bring you to that conclusion yourself. We endeavour to help you become the best and most confident and creative you you can be. Knowledge, power and freedom. Freedom from fear, that's what we're all about. 
and when life's direction seems a little confusing, as shown by these tracks recently left in the snow by our pheasants, we will still be here for you, urging you to listen to your own wisdom and your own insight, for you truly do know your own way. Have a fantastic and prosperous new year.